Is this the best city view of Mumbai? I think so. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I'm taking you with me for yet another staycation. I'm at the Trident in Naraman Point in Mumbai and this is another one of those iconic Mumbai hotels which has a gorgeous ocean view. So I'm going to be taking you through my entire experience here, the food, the room and what I felt about my stay. So without further ado, let's just straight jump into the video and let's start with the room tour. On the 33rd floor in a hotel in Mumbai, the first thing that you go is check out the view. Probably what Mumbai is known for, the commercial hub of India and this is a partial ocean view. That's the Taj from there and if you haven't seen my Taj staycation vlog then you should definitely check that one out. Zeeshan at the reception did tell me that uh, the sunrise from here is gorgeous. We have balloons here. I'm here with my husband celebrating our 7th anniversary. The lounge chair and it looks straight into the view and this is a work desk here. The room is not entirely carpeted. The interiors have a very very modern elegant feel and that there is the bathroom. What I like is that there's no like big mirror here. There is this tall mirror and of course there is this mirror which just about speaks the truth. Bathrobes, this is the shower area, the tub. Here we have the wardrobe. Safe, oh so the tea counter is inside the wardrobe. Um, they've tried to I think amp up on uh, space here. The mini fridge is here. And here we have a few glasses, lovely. And here we have another wardrobe as well. Right next to the wardrobe is like this giant mirror. So this is a proper full length mirror. We try to make the room look as spacious as possible. You could just lay out lots and lots of food here, imagine. And this is the TV. This here is the pool side of the Oberoi, which is another luxury hotel and it's connected with the Trident. So you can take a tour of either. This is the inside of the Oberoi and it is uh, relatively smaller in my opinion than the Trident, but oh so luxurious. I'm walking across to the lobby area of the Trident and because it was beautifully breezy, I enjoyed the fresh air while chilling alongside the pool. <music> We already had a bite of that cake and it is so delicious. It's moozy, there's a hint of coffee, that's what I feel. I don't think I'm going to be ordering any other dessert for the rest of the stay and I'm just going to be indulging in this because it's quite big and it is so good. Alright, it is now time to indulge in a meal and uh, what we have here is watermelon and feta cheese salad. This was not on the menu, I requested them to give it and oh god, they've, they've added cucumber to it and uh, I've never in my life seen cucumber in a watermelon and feta cheese salad. I don't know why they would do it but they have and we have some fresh bread here. No prizes for guessing, there's tomato basil soup. So then we'll be having the soup first and then telling you how this goes. Wow, the basil is so strong in this one. I think I'm gonna be finishing this entire thing by myself and my husband is gonna to have to figure something else because this is really, really good. It's time to dip some bread in. I have no clue what are those black seeds on the buns, but uh, they're literally scattering everywhere. This bread actually has some flax seeds in it and the bread sticks have black sesame. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm just going to add the dressing. Mm -hmm. 
I totally didn't expect it, but there's actually pieces of tomato in this watermelon feta cheese salad and this has officially been a disappointment. For some reason, I wasn't really hungry today, so I decided to order that lighter dinner and my husband's dinner is just on the way. He's ordered palak paneer. So here we have palak paneer and rice. It is looking super, super rich and creamy. And while my husband enjoys his dinner, we are going to be enjoying some cake. All the staff that is actually coming in and serving the in-room dining to us, they are wearing masks, they're wearing gloves, and they're wearing face shields. I think that's definitely a one-up for Trident as compared to the other hotels that I've stayed in. I'm really looking forward to breakfast buffet tomorrow morning. Panjipani restaurant in Trident. This is where they have the buffet and I have to say in terms of precautions I feel like Trident was taking utmost care. So at the entrance of the buffet they take down your room number and stuff but they also do your temperature check. The staff are wearing masks and face shields and they urge all of the customers and guests to actually use face masks as much as possible. Once you enter and you're seated the entire buffet is explained to you so you can actually go and help yourself. They also have gloves which you can wear while you're picking out any of the items from the buffet itself. There's also a menu on the table which is actually part of the buffet but this is just the live counter uh, so you'll find things like dosa, idli, made to order eggs, pancakes, waffles, um, upma, all of those kind of things. So basically they've tried to reduce uh, crowding and you can just request the staff to bring your order to your table. Let's start with the buffet itself. The spread is pretty big. I won't say it's the most massive breakfast buffet I've seen but it is quite elaborate. This is uh, the fruit section. You guys know my love for fruits and uh, what I liked is that there was a very very good variety of freshly chopped fruits. So there's pineapple, there's musk melon, there's watermelon and a few others and there's also banana and stuff. This is another counter where you can see a lot of like detox water, vegetable juices, health juices and I was actually surprised to see apple cider vinegar and even aloe vera juice. I don't think I've seen that at any other buffet. Now near the fruit section there's also cereal and you can choose from four or five different types of cereals and what I also like is that they have nuts and seeds. So sunflower seeds, flax seeds, cashew nuts, almonds and a few others and uh, this is like my healthy mix to balance out all of the indulgence that I'm going to be doing in the buffet. Now this is the hot, the fresh food section and this does change up every day but there are a few constants like I always found idli over here, some kind of roasted potatoes so today these are herbed potatoes then there was corn and I really really enjoyed this uh, boiled corn. Now we are at the rooftop of the Trident. I am living here on the 33rd floor and this is one level above. It is the last floor and it is the best view of Mumbai city. So that is the rooftop. This is called the Malabar and these are actually Bankway halls. The minute you get out of the lift, this is the view that welcomes you. You can't hear anything because everything is soundproof but just watching the waves is so calming. Even if you come down to the coffee shop here at Trident, make sure you come on top and visit this rooftop just to get a feel of this. But for now, enjoy it from my eyes. I think it's going to pour even more but my favorite part is just 
catching these waves. It's just this expanse that just makes you feel like, oh my God, I'm nothing but a tiny drop in this massive ocean of the universe. So this is the queen's necklace. Doesn't it look stunning? So now we're entering the banquet. So this is where they have events. I think there was an event here last night. Let me show you what's in front of me. So this is Marine Drive, Bankhede Stadium, Air India Building. And this side we have the Taj. That there is the Taj, you can even see the Taj Tower. We have the Central Bank of India. There's Inox and there's that circular parking of Inox. Mantrale. And I think this is a new construction. That's Koliwara. The commercial hub that is Mumbai. Now I'll take you to the Malabar side. So usually when they have events, these curtains are drawn and you cannot enjoy the magnificence of this view. But since I'm here for not really any event, I can show it to you guys. So it's turned out to be a really really late lunch and we've decided to come down at the veranda. It's a cafe with a super duper gorgeous view. Now their menu actually had a buffet and I was kind of looking forward to that but they're not running it right now for some reason. But you can still sit down here and enjoy some snacks. So here we have Bihel and Ragra Patis which is honestly feeling wow because it's nice and warm and you can see the weather outside. <laughs> a portion of ice cream now, chocolate ice cream. Good to feel this breeze and um, it's just gorgeous. Every time I come to this part of Mumbai, I just fall in love with it a little bit more. South Mumbai has its own charm. If you agree, then make sure you like this video. So this is like the pool and garden area. It's evening now, so all of the lights and stuff are on, but uh, you can see how gorgeous the sky is looking. This is where it gets a little bit quieter and there's like a little garden area. It's really, really green. Those are the Oberoi rooms and this building here is the Trident. Oh, gorgeous right now. I just took a picture and it can make for an amazing wallpaper. I'm going to put it up on my Instagram and share it with you guys. Save it on your phone for some calm and peace. This is dinner at Frangipani. They had a buffet but we decided to go a la carte. Some minestrone soup with lots of veggies, a bit of fresh warm bread with olive oil and balsamic vinegar and of course pizza which was oh my god so good. That's what our date night looks like. Also some spinach and cheese ravioli which completely filled us up. As somebody who cuts fruit at home regularly, I really, really value top pineapple whenever I see it. So I've taken a lot of that. And uh, of course, I took some watermelon, some musk melon. And uh, I actually was very attracted by seeing the hummus counter. So they had hummus, uh, they had a flavored one, and they also had a labne. And uh, I took some of that. And I also have yogurt. So this is my first course of breakfast. Hopefully, this should fill me up most so that I don't indulge or rather overindulge after and all of those uh, different varieties of juices and I just ended up going and sticking to watermelon juice. Is it just me or even you guys can't operate when there's too much choice? Let me know in the comments. Okay so the next course I just moved to the warm section. I've got Idli 
and uh, sambar and they were out of chutney so chutney is going to be coming in in just a little bit and i did take like a small bite of that uh, chocolate pudding and also a little bit of the shrikhand and here is sada dosa i think this is the first time that a five star hotel has got the color of the chai right i asked them for kadak strong less milk and uh, this is seeming perfect so after that super indulgent breakfast i decided to come out and walk around a little bit i really really needed to so behind me is the pool and there we have the seaside take a moment to try and imagine the crisp fresh air right now I just had to come back to the rooftop one last time to say goodbye to this view because trust me isi view ke paise hai if you're coming here and not enjoying this view then you're missing out so in case you happen to come to the trident whether it is for a meal whether it's just to check out the property or you're staying here come to the rooftop and check out mumbai you will fall in love with the city and uh, i'm going to be leaving you with a few gorgeous shots today it's a bit more brighter so i was able to get a few different shots and uh, i know you're going to enjoy this view and that is really it from me if you guys enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button share this video with all of your friends and family and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye